Hey, what is up, my YouTube people? I have a battle here against um, Orlando Till, who is a NGDL pr uh, participant and a longtime viewer, and a really cool guy, and he wanted a underused match, so that's what we're going to go ahead and do. This actually wasn't on stream. Um, we wanted a battle on Discord, and I was looking. So, yeah, here we go. Um, so I'm using a few interesting things. He's using uh, kind of some scary stuff, too. Um, he has that Hydragon, which is always going to be a problem. He has Breloom and Swampert, and there's a lot of kind of scary things. Of course, Rotom Heat as well. So let's go ahead and see how this uh, works out. So I'm going to go ahead and lead my Gliscor, and I don't remember really why, and he ends up leading with Swampert, so that's not like the best lead for me, because obviously this king could Scald first turn, which would actually majorly suck. I'm going to go for the Toxic instead of the Stealth Rocket off the bat. I would like to get this thing Toxic Poisons sooner than later. He's probably just going to go ahead and set up the uh, Stealth Rocks. I'm really hoping he doesn't Scald, because that would be obviously the worst case scenario for me, and uh, thankfully he does not, so that is cool, because... Uh, because he doesn't Scald, um, I'm going to be able to get my Toxic Orb up, which I wouldn't have been able to otherwise if he burned. So the burn would have really, really, really hurt. So now he is going to go ahead and Scald, although um, I already have my Toxic Orb, so I'm not so, so afraid of it. Obviously, um, I, no, I mean, I don't take uh, Special Hits that well. It does about half, but I know that it can't burn me, and I do have Roost as well, and I outspeed. And um, this thing's Toxic Poison, so there is a limit to the amount of turns that he can uh, stay in here with his Swampy. So, um, yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and roost. I know that he can't kill me, and he ends up going for an Earthquake. So I don't know if he was predicting... No, there's no way he was predicting a roost there. Maybe he was. I'm not sure. He was probably predicting a switch of some kind. I'm not entirely sure which switch, but um, that's what I had to guess, and he ends up working out for him because he ends up hitting me when I'm roosted, although it really does absolutely nothing because Gliscor's physical defense is uh, very, very good. So I am going to switch out now, though. I'm kind of predicting a Skull, but I really don't want... Um, and I'm really hoping it doesn't burn me. Uh, onto Crobat, but he ends up double switching, so that's pretty good. I don't have to risk the um, Scald Burn now, as he goes out into his Hydreigon, and I'm just going to go ahead and pop off my Flying EMZ. I'm not entirely sure how much it's going to deal through this Hydreigon. It's not super effective, but um, I figure I want to get as much damage on this Hydreigon as possible. I'm actually expecting it to be Scarfed, but it uh, appears not to be, so that usually means it's Specs or something. Um, but I do go for that, and it ends up crippling it. I even get a crit. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite kill anyway. Um, he's able to get off the, um, the Defog, which I was not expecting. Uh, Defog Hydreigon, obviously, uh, I think it's one of the new moves that got from Move Tutor. I think it's one of the Pokemon that, you know, one of the many Pokemon that just got Defog. Um, so you might not actually see Specs and Scarf sets, and it doesn't appear that one is, because it obviously had Defog. Or maybe it is, and maybe it just has Defog on it, a, uh, Specs set, because it didn't outspeed my Crobat, so. Whatever. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and U-turn now, as he goes out into his Kabalion. Uh, I would assume, because, uh, he was predicting something else, and then I just go out on my Gliscor, which is obviously going to scare that thing away. He's going to go into his Rotom, and I'm just going to go ahead and set up my Stealth Rocks again, so we're just going to go for that, and, uh, yeah, I don't actually have anything really do this other than Toxic it, so that's what I try to do. Uh, my only attack move on this Gliscor, I believe, is Earthquake, so uh, I can't hit that thing with Levitate, but... Uh, I'm just going to go for the Toxic, and, uh, I wanted to scout this thing set, I wanted to see if it was, like, Scarfed or something. Um, no, I did outspeed it, so that's cool, and then I get the Toxic on it. He goes for an Overheat, um, but I know this is probably like a bulky Rotom Heat, though, because, um, it obviously does not outspeed. So he is going to go ahead and switch out, uh, because he has a, does have that minus two a special attack, and he's really struggling right now to deal damage to my Gliscor. He really doesn't have anything, um, he, he doesn't appear to have really a nice move on his team, which, um, makes my Gliscor a huge threat for him, because, uh, even that overheat only did about half, and then I can just negate that with a, uh, Roost, so that's pretty strong. Anyway, I'll just go for the Earthquake here on the Swampert. I know he's, you know, obviously gonna go for a Skull, just gonna do some decent damage. He is, um, or sorry, he's gonna try to set his Stealth Rocks, probably. Um, but now he's probably gonna be Skull. What I really wanna do is get this Swampert dead. Just, uh, get rid of it, you know? Um, it's just, uh, it's just annoying, uh, and, uh, yeah, another Earthquake, and then plus this Toxic Damage will, uh, you know, help, uh, take it out. Now, he's probably gonna survive one more Earthquake here. Uh, and he's gonna get off a Scald, but I know that, like I said, it can't burn me, so I'm not afraid of that. But, it does have Torrent, which, you know, I always seem to forget about Torrent. And, uh, as you can see, that Scald does far more than the first one. Uh, because I completely, once again, forgot about freaking Torrent, and I'm not entirely sure I can live another one, even if I roost, so I'm like, well, crap, let's go into Raikou. I do have the Assault Vest on this thing. I'm really hoping he doesn't predict this and go for an Earthquake. This is probably what he's predicting earlier. <clears throat> Thankfully, he does go for the Scald, so that's... Thank God worthy, because uh, Earthquake would have really hurt. Um, and even with Torrent, the Assault Vest will save Raikou from taking major damage from that Scald. He doesn't get the burn either, which would have been kind of mad, because I'm, obviously I'm a special uh, Raikou. Not anyone really runs physical Raikou. But anyway, 
Just gonna go for the extra sensory against this Breloom. He actually said he forgot about extra sensory being um, on uh, Raikou's moveset, so that kind of worked out for me. Unfortunately, it doesn't quite kill him. He survives with just a little bit of HP, so a lot of uh, low HP survives in this match. And he unfortunately is able to get my uh, Raikou Spored. Um, so in comes my Crobat again, and uh, I do that because I resist, obviously, Grass and uh, Fighting. So, in fact, I th yeah, I resist both of his stab moves, X4. So he's going to go for that Bullet Seed, not going to do a whole lot. He could Mock Punch me here, he could just switch out, although it would be kind of pointless because, um, yeah, I still have the Stealth Rocks up, and I think I got rid of his Defogger. His Defogger's dead on switching at his Hydra God. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm able to get that Cross Poison up to kill that Breloom, and uh, looking pretty nice here as he goes into Kabalian. And I know this thing is probably going to try to set up. I decide, you know what, I just really want to get damage on this thing, so I'm just going to go for the Brave Bird. I don't want to give him a free setup by switching. He's going to go for a Swords Dance. Now, this could easily be, as well, a um, Rock Polish set. That seems to be kind of a uh, popular Kabalian set, is Rock Polish with Swords Dance. But I'm um, like, you know what, if he wants to go for both, I, I like I said, I have priority on this team. So I just need to get this Kabalian as low as I can. So I'm just going to go for another Brave Bird. He doesn't even try to set it up. He just goes for an Iron Head to kill my Crobat. So that's pretty nice. Um, because this thing is now down to red HP. And he didn't even get uh, plus speed. So I know I can outspeed it, say, with my Joy Scarf Chandelure. Which actually probably... No, it couldn't outspeed otherwise. Um, but I still feel pretty confident. Because obviously I resist the Stab Steel. And I'm immune to the uh, Stab uh, Fighting. So I wasn't 100% sure he could kill this thing anyway. But either way, we're going to go ahead and uh, kill that Kabalian. He's going to go into his Rotom Heat. And uh, I'm not really sure what I'm doing. I think I switch out. I think I uh, sack something to get a safe switch in here to um, my... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Wait, never mind. I go into my Raikou. Yeah, that's right. I, I go into my Raikou. Um, I don't remember why. I think I was predicting an electric move. So I went into Raikou. I was hoping he would wake up. Now he's going to go into Yen Mega. Okay, that's what happens. So in comes Yen Mega. It takes a boatload of damage from... Uh, you know, rocks. I'm going to try to wake up. Um, I don't know exactly what set this is. It's going to be like Specs or whatever. No, it ends up being actually a Life Orb um, speed boost set. So he's going to nearly kill me. And now the speed boost is going to allow him to outspeed Raikou. So I'm not going to get an opportunity to wake up. But I should be able to clinch the wind now with the Pokemon that I thought I went into in the first place. Which is, of course, my, um, my crab thing. What is this thing's called? Name? I still can't remember this thing's name. It is Crawdon. That's this thing. Uh, but this guy is really powerful. He's really powerful with uh, stab moves. Um, and I'm just going to go for an Aqua Jet here because I have it. And this thing's nearly dead. I'm hoping to take it out. If it doesn't, it'll die to its own life orb. And his last Pokemon, other than uh, the Hydreigon, which will die on switch in, is the Rotom Heat, which it will, also, will also die to, obviously, something. In fact, I think I actually misclick and end up speeding it anyway. I think I misclick and accidentally hit Crab Hammer here at the end. Um, but I end up out speeding anyway. I don't even need the Aqua Jet because it's uh, seems to be bulky Rotom. That's going to just obliterate Rotom. Anyway, so uh, good game, uh, Lander Till. And today's question of the day is going to be, um, what is your favorite gift Pokemon in a Pokemon game? Um, so you know, throughout all the Pokemon games, there's certain uh, gift Pokemon that you can receive. Uh, some of them you're given as eggs, and uh, some of them you just end up receiving from an NPC. S some of them you just find in, like, middle of a table, and you just kind of steal it, like the Eevee one. Which is probably my favorite, going back, uh, because that Eevee is always really powerful, because you can always use it to kind of, uh, you know, get a, you know, a decent uh, fire, electric, or really good water type. Most people have very poor on for that reason. Um, but uh, that probably is my favorite. Uh, you know what? No. I'm going to go with um, the Mystery Egg in Crystal. Uh, the one that can evolve into, like, one of, uh, you know, any number of Pokemon. That one's pretty cool. Um, because I think the one time I did it, I, um, I think I got an Elekid, which is cool. I think it required, required something else, didn't it? I think it, you, you need, I don't remember the details behind it, but that mystery egg is pretty cool. So leave a comment about that and see you guys again next time. Later!